It works! We almost got him. Has he called anyone? Well, he tried. I put a program that blocks any attempts to communicate with the outside world and activates an alarm in my tablet. It's a good thing I did it, huh? You did amazing. Excuse me? What's this shit? If you hadn't put that in, the kid wouldn't have realized what was going on and we would have caught him. Before you start bragging, think about doing things <gasps> right. I am the first person who wants everything to go smoothly, okay? If we leave here empty-handed, you and the fucking nut can get on with your lives. I am a fugitive. With no money, I'll get caught, and I won't get out of prison before I'm 50. If you try to threaten me again, I'll crush your head. Disappearances. Surely these guys are the ones responsible for them. I'm here in your room, but I can't find your pills anywhere. They have to be around there. I left them on. Oh no! Hi, Ben! The monster's coming towards you! Gotcha! Is this what I'm looking for, Paul? So much pain for this? He's taking the pills with him!
You are not at all like I imagined you, Paul. Married and with children. You have a very happy family, don't you? You are not at all like I imagined you, Paul. Married and with children. You have a very happy family, don't you? And I love what you've done to the house. You could put on a concert here. It's clear that you are at the top of your game. The problem with being at the top is that the only way to go is down. And a long fall awaits you. Take everything that matters to you away. I'll do the same thing you did to me. Irene, I haven't been able to get the pills. yourself were you able to get help I tried but they blocked the computer somehow I couldn't do anything dad Irene needs to take her pills but that man has them Paul Ben you need to get into my laboratory just above my study I, I, I'm sure there will be more pills in there for Irene why do you keep the pills there don't ask questions, Ben! <coughs> Go up the stairs next to my office. The code for the door is 4891. Get in. Take the pills and get out. Do not touch anything else. Understand? Take a look. <laughs> what do you want now? I think the time has come to explain what's going on here. The house is completely isolated. I've cut the landlines, there's no internet connection, and we have your cell phones and laptop. Mr. Richter, you have no choice but to collaborate with us. Someone will realize what is happening. You've taken a week off in your luxury vacation home. No one will be surprised if they don't hear from you during that time. How do you know all this? 
We also happen to know that there is a laboratory behind the door of the second floor. We have been hired to retrieve the formula that you've hidden inside there. Are these the pills? Yes, that's what you have been looking for. Take them and please leave us alone! He's lying. If these were the cure, he would never admit it. In any case, the pills wouldn't be of any use to us without the formula, not to mention the research data. Mr. Richter, you just need to give us the password to access the laboratory. We'll just take your research, and then we'll leave. Oh, we don't have any choice. Give it to him. They're lying, Jane. To use my research, it's not enough to make a copy. They have to be the only ones with the formula. And for that, they have to delete my files. And then kill me. That won't be necessary. Of course it is. The formula's in my head. I created it. I have no intention of giving it to you no matter what. I need that formula. It can't be true. Paul, honey, you more than anyone should know that there are worse things than death. We have all night to play on your strings. Sooner or later, we'll get our hands on your kids. If you're not reasonable, I'll have to make my own music with them while you watch. Could you bear that? I'll leave you to think it over. Please wait! sent me to his laboratory to get your pills. He gave me the code to get in, but the door just won't open. I've been trying to, to, to remove the lockdown thingy, but I just can't. I think we need a key. Isn't there any other way to get in?
heard something. Probably nothing. Don't look down. Don't look down. Strange. There's electricity in this room. Irene, I'm in the lab, but there are no pills here. Keep looking, Ben. They have to be... <coughs> There's somewhere. It's locked. I need some kind of card. Looks like another password. Is it for this computer? This would be my last entry in this video diary. Seven years have passed since Irene was diagnosed with localized encephalic leukodystrophy, the same disease that killed my father. I thought it was asthma. They said she wouldn't live more than 10 years. We didn't say anything to her, her or anyone else, to myself, and would tell her I was going to the pharmacy to get it so she didn't suspect anything. With the help of Chrysalis, I did some research and was able to discover a cure. When they saw how much it would cost, they turned me down. My daughter's life just couldn't turn a profit. I didn't give up. I bought this house and then built a laboratory as well as a special room for the... the... tests. I've done things that were terrible, but necessary. Jane doesn't know what I've had to do, and it's better that way. I've just got the results of the latest tests. The cure works. I'm going home. In a few hours, the construction work begins. I'll come back with my family on the weekend. Jane will take both the kids on a trip while I come to collect the last remnants of my experiments. Until then, everything here will stay hidden and safe. Soon, I'll have left all this behind. It's locked. I need some kind of card. This must be the card to open the locker. What is all this? Irene? I found a secret elevator. I think Dad keeps the medicine in the basement. An elevator? Why does Dad want a secret basement? <laughs>
What if she had an attack? I have to get these pills to her right now. The door closed on its own. I really hope I don't have to go back there. Scream, kid. Listen carefully, and everything will be okay. I can help you. I'm not here to steal anything from you. I'm looking for my daughter, Bliss. She disappeared three weeks ago. She was seen getting into a car with your father. I just want to know what's happened to her, kid. Tell me the truth, and I'll help you. Do you know anything? Found this. I... No. I'm sorry. No. No. <laughs> Mike, what's going on there? I'm sorry. Your father worked secretly to save your sister. Very emotional. But Dad hasn't told us how he found the cure. He knew how to find the cure, but his company didn't want to help him. So, Dad kidnapped people with the same disease as Irene and experimented on them. He did terrible things to them. And them and got rid of their bodies. Do you know what playing an instrument and killing have in common? Doing it well takes a lot of practice. Paul? Is... Is it true? Honey, you didn't know. But you suspected it. All those days Paul came here after work. All those nights you spent alone with the children. You couldn't help thinking about it. Could you? Like a song that gets stuck in your head. You can't get rid of it. You chose to ignore it. Wake up, honey. Wake up. Poor thing. You fell asleep during the movie. But turns out the remote for opening the panic room was hidden in the car keys. And there we were looking everywhere for it. Dennis! Dennis Francis Burton! It took me a few days to remember my name in the hospital. I was imprisoned for weeks in that laboratory. The things you did to me. <laughs> Do you remember the night I almost escaped? I'd lost so much weight I slipped out of my shackles. With what little strength I had, I ran to the elevator and took it up. That drained all my energy. Where... where am I? I need to get to the elevator before he comes back. The elevator has to be around here. Thank <laughs> you. 
wasn't able to make it to the front door of the house. I was so drugged up I couldn't find my bearings. Dennis? Dennis, where are you? No. No. If I try to get away, he'll catch me. I have to hide. I hid in a closet. All I could see through the door was that skull, watching me from the top of the wall. I was convinced it was death. Staring me in the face, it said to me, Where are you? I'm not going to let you get away. And he found me in the end. I know you're around here. Don't think I won't find you. I just wanted to die. But you couldn't even do that right. Dennis, remember we need the cure? The boss needs the cure. It was him who told me all about you and gave me the chance to thank you for your care. But first, I need the password for the laboratory. I'll get him talking. No. You mean well. But you're a savage with no self-restraint. If you went too far, we'd end up with no source of information. I've got a much better idea. He needs his family, but we don't. No, 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 please! We're not playing games, sweetie. I'd say the lab password is an awfully cheap price to pay for her life, isn't it? I know it! Are you sure? You're not trying to trick me, right? The password is... 4... 8... 9... 1... <laughs> Hilarious. Kid loves mommy more than daddy does. Stay here and watch them. I'll see if what they say about the lab is true. Prepare the program. Come on, little girl. You're coming with me. I'll make me sick. Ashley, come here. It was supposed to be an easy job. The sooner we finish, the better. It seems that Dad is a very bad boy. Mike, listen to this. <clears throat> Subject number 35, last name Wise, name Bliss, blah, 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 blah. Ah, day eight. I took a sample of the nervous tissue. Soon I'll know if the process of remyelination is stable. The subject hasn't slept in five days because of the pain. Her screams make me very nervous. Yada, yada. The tests with the last subject have allowed me to find a definite compound. Day 13. The tests show that the medicine works. Unfortunately, the subject has died. What a pity. Bliss, my little one. Monster! While celebrating the results of the tests, she suffered a cardiac arrest. No, please! I decided not to revive her. It was the best for her. I will hide her body along with the others. 
Daisy, please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I... My daughter was dying. I had no choice. You are a parent. You have to understand. Monster! Grab the car keys and go through the garage door. It's the only way to escape. Take the tablet. That data is your sister's salvation. This is all the data from Dad's research. I can't let them take it. I have to hurry and get out of here. One of them has taken the tablet! Where do you think you're going? Open the fucking door! I'll be back to get you! Where'd that damn girl go? Ben! Oh god. I hope Irene is okay. Ben! There you are, you little bunny. Tablet right now and come closer. All right, then. Please, let her go. What are you doing here? It's over, Dennis. This has gotten out of hand. We can't go around killing kids. Their father killed your daughter. 
This is our revenge! <laughs> I won't turn into someone worse than him. We have to turn ourselves in. There's no other way out. <gasps> I don't know if you can hear me or not. You never really believed in these things, and I stopped believing gradually as I grew up. I wish I had the faith I used to have. I need to believe that someone can be cleansed of the sins they committed in life. Paul, what we did was wrong. You wanted to save Irene. She was always your favorite. Everyone knew it. So much so that in saving her, you lost your ethics, your civility, your... your soul. You kidnapped and murdered innocent people, Paul. But I can't blame you because you did it to save her. It was my fault. You couldn't accept the prospect of Irene's death, but I could. When you told me Chrysalis wasn't going to finance your research, I saw her dead in a white hospital, Paul more than you can imagine. Then you told me you had a plan, but couldn't tell me what it was. You offered me peace of mind in exchange for not getting involved. I shouldn't have accepted. I should have let her die, rather than see you turn into a murderer. Now it's too late. You're not with me anymore. Your daughter will grow up hating the father who saved her, and your son? I don't know which of them we hurt more. If only you'd at least regretted it, Paul. Winter, where you used to be a guest. And rain, and the remains mm, sorrow where you smile just to everything and cold instead of your ear. I will wait for you in the shadow There's no place like by your side Ashes Where the way you caress it And smoke I from my head And even the mirror Can't stop
There's no place like by your side